Liverpool confirms injury of important player until the end of March. Fabrizio Romano makes Real Madrid transfer claim about Darwin Nunez. Hello, my fellow Red supporter. Welcome to another video with the latest news from the greatest club in the world. Liverpool goalkeeper Alison Becker has missed the last two games against Brentford and Luton Town, and assistant coach Pep Leenders has now provided an update on his physical condition ahead of the Carabao Cup final. The Brazilian international is undoubtedly one of the best goalkeepers in world football and has saved the Merseyside team on numerous occasions. But he won't be available for Liverpool's trip to the capital this weekend. Pep Leinders provides update on Allison. It's not good news for Liverpool fans. Speaking ahead of Liverpool's trip to Wembley, assistant to Jurgen Klopp, Leinders spoke to the media, updating Allison's physical condition. The German coach confirmed that Allison will be sidelined until after the March international break, which is a big blow for the Reds. Allison, who cost Liverpool £65 million, joins several players who will be watching from the stands on Sunday. The Reds are going through a minor injury crisis at a crucial time of the season, but it hasn't stopped them from securing two wins in their last two Premier League games. Kelleher had a good chance of starting the game even before Allison's injury, with Klopp giving the 25-year-old the responsibility in the cup. Allison hasn't played a single minute in the competition. With the Reds vying for the Premier League title, every game is crucial. But Allison now seems poised to miss some games that could be crucial in the race to finish at the top this season. Linders confirmed that the Brazilian goalkeeper could return after the March international break which means he could be fit to face Brighton and Hove Albion on March 31st. Before that, Liverpool will have a short trip around Merseyside to face Everton, while also hosting Manchester City, another title contender. The Reds also have a fifth-round FA Cup tie against Southampton and a trip to Nottingham Forest during the period Allison is expected to be out. Realistically, it could be just five more games he won't be available for, with only three of them in the Premier League. Joao Palinha seems destined to leave Fulham this summer. The Portuguese midfielder was incredibly close to joining Bayern Munich last year. And although the deal didn't materialize, Palinha remains one of the best players outside the Champions League. Tony Khan stated this week that the player would be sold if the right offer emerged this summer, leading to much speculation about where he might end up. Speaking on the Premier League's All Access podcast, Alex Crook has discussed Palinha's options and says that both Liverpool and Chelsea have decided that the £17 million man is not for them because they believe he is simply too old. The journalist shared what he knows about the Fulham star. The issue he faces in this country is that his people have touted him to many big clubs at the top of the Premier League food chain, but certainly in Chelsea's case, and perhaps even Liverpool's, They've decided he's too old. There's no resale value, so it will be interesting to see if Fulham will have to lower the asking price because of this, said Crook. We can't help but wonder what direction football is taking if a 28-year-old player is considered too old to be signed by a top club. Palinha is a brilliant midfielder who would improve almost any Premier League team. And although he may not have much room for improvement at the moment, he's still an excellent player. Yes, he's 28 years old, but realistically, you can still get half a decade of good service from him at this point. The loss for Liverpool and Chelsea may be someone else's gain here because whoever signs Palinha will get an incredible player. According to Fabrizio Romano, who spoke on his YouTube channel, Real Madrid came close to pursuing Darwin Nunez from Liverpool. If they hadn't managed to sign Jude Bellingham in the summer of 2023, it could have been Liverpool's star, Darwin, who would represent Los Blancos this season. In his own words, Fabrizio Romano said, I can tell you that last summer in June, before concluding the deal for Jude Bellingham, Real Madrid considered a possible move for Darwin Nunez. Darwin Nunez has had a great season at Liverpool, scoring nine goals and providing seven assists in the Premier League so far. Although not an undisputed starter under Jurgen Klopp, his work is always appreciated by the faithful cop when he plays. In fact, he is valued enough at Liverpool for Jurgen Klopp to reject advances from Real Madrid, reports Fabrizio Romano. Clarifying the situation, Romano said, Real Madrid tried to explore this move, and it was discussed by both the player and the club with Liverpool, but then Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool's board, decided to keep the player. Darwin Nunez is only 24 years old, and it remains to be seen whether he will have a bright future at Anfield under the new management. For those who don't know, Jurgen Klopp will leave his position at the end of the season, 
so Liverpool needs to find a new coach, which may mean some changes at the club. Although Darwin has done little to undermine his chances, he may or may not fit into the new system. Thank you very much for watching so far. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with everything about the Reds. Until next time.